Folks, some people have asked me questions about liquidity of some of these markets uh, that we trade. And uh, there's, you know, there's been a lot of things uh, published about this stuff over the years. Uh, commodity stocks and commodities magazines always gives uh, the futures liquidity. But some of the better ones are, you know, are the S&P 500, the 10-year note, uh, crude oil, the Russell. Uh, you know, the, the Dow Jones E-mini is down there quite a ways, but uh, there's, you know, natural gas is pretty good. But uh, just remember that uh, these things, uh, uh, they trade electronically now, so there's really no pit trading at all anymore. So when you're trading, you're trading against yourself. When you look at that machine, uh, that machine is a mirror, and it's going to mirror any of the psychological imperfections that you might have. And I know all of us have those. The $64 question is, how often do they raise their, you know, raise their head? If you remember yesterday when Tom was on, he said the one thing that you absolutely cannot do if you're trading, and that is to add to a losing position. He makes all of his money, folks, by adding to winners, and he adds heavily. When a, when a trend starts, he, he gets on it, and he rides that puppy until it's uh, <laughs> till that horse is out of the stable, if you, if you can get my drift. So that's what he really does. So, you know, he's, uh, if you get his book, you'll read it, and you'll see what he's done, but he's been just been incredibly successful. Uh, in fact, in uh, fact, I have to put him in the same category as Amos Hostetter and uh, my good friend from the Super Traders Almanac. And I wish I could remember his name. I'm sitting here looking at it right now. <laughs> and uh, by Frank Tauscher. And uh, I, uh, he's definitely in that. Um, he, he, uh, he adding he doesn't add he, adding to a losing position. Oh my gosh! Let me let's go through. That's a really good question you're asking here. The question is how does adding to a losing position differ from dollar cost averaging? There is no difference. That's exactly what adding to a losing position is. Dollar cost averaging. Now. You know, people will say that's the, in, a, in a big mar bull market, big bull market like we've had since 2009. It certainly, uh, you know, it uh, it may be uh, uh, it may be okay. But what he's saying is, and folks, I can tell you this right now. The no and I've been trading for 60 years. The number of times that I've added to a loser and have made money on it, you could count on one hand. And I'm talking five fingers. I mean, and I, and I don't think I have to use four of those figures. I don't ever remember it. I remember, I, I don't ever remember it at all. I remember walking around the lake at Westlake Village in the 1973. Uh, no, seven, it was 74 when I was on the debt, when the market had already turned on me, and I didn't know it. I'd still had a huge amount of capital, and I had a wheat position on that I was out about 20 cents, and uh, I, uh, I, I, I bought some more because, oh, it looked like a great buy. You know, it was right at an 18-day cycle, and I bought it, and so I doubled my position in the wheat, and boy, for three days, gosh, did that look good. Boy, how smart I was, and I was now back into a big profit, and then the next day, the news came out. It took out those lows and we kept dropping and dropping and dropping. And what did I do? I was sitting there with my hands on my uh, on my buttocks, not doing anything, and that's what uh, cost it. Uh, dollar cost average is for stock. You could do it also for futures too, uh, Marshall. I don't think there's any difference because it's just an asset. So I'm sure you can do dollar cost averaging averaging for futures. I think the guys at the uh, uh, the turtles did that for a while. Once they, well, the, once those four-week moving average things turned, you know, and those things worked for a while. I, I don't know if there's any turtles still around or not, but uh, and I don't even know what happened to Richard Dennis. I, I don't know if he's still alive or not. I haven't heard from him in 25 years. I don't really know. 